Hello. I am back with a June art snacks. See? And I <clears throat> just finished editing my May 2017 art snacks box. And I know it's late. Of course it's late. Um, but actually I I just started subscribing to the Art Snacks, and so I received May's, like, uh, I think on the 30th of uh, May, and then I opened it, and I did post a picture on my Instagram of my Art Snacks challenge. Um, so, when you sign up for Art Snacks, it's really cool because not only do you get art supplies every month, but... I was actually able to go back and order um, a previous month's as a gift. So I chose May's as a gift, and then this is my official first shipment of um, June's Art Snacks box. So this is the unboxing, and hopefully I can get this video posted quickly, but um, I've been having technical issues with my computer and posting and I'm trying to get that worked out but right now I think I think I may have gotten it squared away I'm not sure but um yeah let's open June's art snacks box this time I have scissors <clears throat> for me as I had a knife I'm probably better off with a knife And if you hear um, a puppy barking in the background, I have a little puppy who is not wanting to go to sleep. It is 1.16 a.m. And the only reason I'm doing it at this hour is because this is the only time I can actually film anything with quiet. Okay, so the view of the camera is above. So I'm gonna turn the art snacks box away from me because I'm not entirely sure what's in the June box. I tried not to peek so that it would be a surprise. But I don't want you seeing what, it's, what it is yet either. Maybe you know, maybe you don't, I don't know. But um, yeah, I don't want to keep it a surprise. So, first off, ooh, these are so sour and great. Um, the Crybaby Bubblegum, fantastic. We have the Art Snack stickers. We have, oh, this is going to be challenging. I know there's going to be a menu in here somewhere. <laughs> Another Art Snack sticker. Okay, let's go ahead and pull this out. What is this? Very cool. I don't know if you can see this. It is Art Can Change the World. It's a Denic product, um, custom notebooks. So I think this is what I'll be doing my Art Snacks Challenge in since this is part of the box. Okay, we have the wrapper. And here we go. Okay, here's the menu. And now we have an empty box. See? Okay, perfect. So let's see what is in our June 2017 Art Snacks box. Um, this is, here's what's on the menu for June. We have an Art Snacks Denic Mini Sketchbook, $5 retail, limited edition. Um, Let's see here. Lay flat binding, water resistant cover, perfect for on the go doodling. Okay. If you, this is really cool because, um, so I'm just gonna read what it says because this way um, you'll know. Limited edition. We fully believe in Denick's mission statement art can change the world. 
This remarkable notebook company fulfills their mission by featuring a variety of artists' work on the journal covers. A portion of every notebook purchase goes toward building schools in developing countries. This month, we collaborated with Denick and <coughs> excuse me, Kansas City-based artist Marcos Roman <coughs> to create a custom art snacks and Denick mini sketchbook just for our subscribers. Now, <coughs> excuse me, as I have a little coughing fit, I actually um, suffer from asthma. So, anybody out there who understands asthma, I trust me. I'll be fine. I just have one of those moments. But, um, okay, so this is really cool. Um, helping schools in developing countries. And, um, yeah, pretty cool. And the artwork, Marcos Roman. If you can see it, I hope I'm showing it right. It's kind of hard to see at this angle. And lay flat spine. So. Okay. Cool. And waterproof. Then we have Painty FX by Zig. Add an explosion of color to your work with the Painty FX Zig. Permanent on almost all surfaces. Alcohol based paint marker. Perfect. Experiment with mixed media techniques. Opaque, high pigmented ink lays down smooth, dries quickly, making layers easy to begin paint flow, giving the marker a shake. Then gently. Give a marker a shake and then press gently <coughs> on the tip to the art surface. And then we have general multi pastel chalk pencils. Very cool. Um, wow, yeah, chalk pencils. I like the idea of that. I actually, yeah. It's going to be interesting when I open this package. I haven't yet peeked. So, and then a Tombow dual brush pen. Um, so enhance your marker collection, Tombow dual brush pens. So in three different colors, flexible brush tip. And then of course, um, there's take the arch snacks challenge, which I will do with the products that are involved in this book. Um, haha, I just saw this little question. Um, it says, how well did Jackson Pollock do in art class? And <laughs> I love sarcasm. And so I love jokes that have sarcastic answers. Um, it says he passed with flying colors. Good old Jackson Pollock. So there's a menu. And here is the little goodie package. Let's open it up. So we have sap green in the general pastels chalk. Very cool. We also have light blue in the general's pastel chalk. Then this is the Tombow. And acid free, of course. Um, trying to see a color, but obviously it's kind of like a peach orange type color. It's color 933. And then we have a Zig Paint Effects, Xaline Free. I don't know if I'm saying that right, probably Xaline Free. Uh, metal, glass, plastic, and wood, and more. So this is a paint marker. Hmm. Now if I know paint markers, they kind of soak through paper. So <clears throat> I'm probably going to do a test on a, probably my sketchbook before I um, actually do anything in this book. So, okay, so there's that. And then 443 Tombow. 
pretty color. And woohoo! Another fantastic color. 725 for Tombow. So there's three Tombow markers, okay? So three Tombow markers, 319 retail value each with um, the general pencils, $1.70 value each. And then we have the paint effects, 360 retail. And then the $5 Art Snacks Fennec Mini Sketchbook. And if you can feel paper tearing in the background, it's because my puppy has just discovered the tissue paper that all of this is packaged in. So I'm gonna grab her real quick because she's eating it. I'm just gonna say, hmm, look up. Alice, look up, say hi. So that's Alice. And she's up way past her bedtime and having too much fun, but she slept all day because we were out and about. So um, let me grab my sketchbook. Which I have kind of handy. I'm gonna move this one to the side. It's beautiful. And I'm gonna move my stickers, my menu. This is the maze art snack challenge. I, I haven't posted that video. I'm posting it kind of right now. It's processing. And I'm about to sit on my little bubby. Okay, so Tombow. Here's the brush pen. So we've got beautiful color. Come. Just loves that tissue paper. Okay. So those are the three Tombow colors. They are so vibrant, vivid, beautiful. We have the general pencils, pastel. Light blue. Put those together. I let's see here. Most everything with these plastic covers just twists. Yep, there it is. Give the marker a shake, then gently press. <gasps> Whoa! Yeah, gently. Okay, sure. Hmm. Pretty color. I just hate that all the paint ran out. But there's the color for that. Even if I don't use this <clears throat> right now, I may come back to this later and do something kind of funky with it. Who knows? I have to press this button. Hold on. Okay. 
show. Oh, you crazy puppy. Um, let me see. Doodle days indeed. Stop it. Okay, so I'm gonna stop my video real quick because I have a puppy that's going crazy and I will be right back. I'm back! Thanks to the wonderful editing world of video, I am back and I am getting ready to dive into my little sketchbook here. Now I'm doing voiceover, I recorded this during the day and um, I was talking through it but there was noise and chaos as per usual as my household is and um, so I'm doing voiceover and I have the film sped up so um, this doesn't take forever and I think the film was 45 minutes long. We don't want a 45 minute long video on YouTube. Yeah, how long that takes to process? It's horrible. So um, this is the June Art Snacks box and this is the little sketchbook. I did do a sketch in my regular sketchbook or doodle and um, then I realized I was defeating the purpose because the Art Snacks Challenge says use products in the box. Just the products in the box. Now I do cheat a little bit here. I use a paintbrush, water brush, or for watercolor. <clears throat> and that's because with the Tombow markers you can kind of spread them like watercolor. However, um, the, the use of the water on such thin sheets in the sketchbook that's not made for water uh, creates a lot of puckering on the paper. So just these little sketchbooks are absolutely perfect for dry media and pens, but wet media not so much. In fact, even with the marker it kind of bleeds through on the back. So I'd leave um, pencils and pens for the sketchbook. And so um, in fact I was kind of challenged because what was I going to do with the markers versus and um, with the paint effects pen in the sketchbook that is definitely meant for dry media and um, so I came up with this little design and I hope you enjoy it please watch and follow um, I look forward to receiving July's Art Snacks box um, I'm doing my best not to look on the Art Snacks page because I don't want to know where the products are that are coming I want to be surprised every single time I open that box. I love art supplies and let me tell you, I have a crazy amount of art supplies from paints to uh, pens, markers, um, so why would I need more? <laughs> and well, one of the reasons is because as I got these Tombow markers, I realized I had a pack of portrait Tombow markers with all the right colors for portraits and I don't use them. And um, I didn't realize about the blending with the water with the Tombow markers. And I do love watercolor, and I do paint in watercolor, but I'm not really a fan of marker art. Let me correct that. I am a fan of people who use art, um, markers and art and Copic and like these Tombow markers I found. Oh my gosh, these colors are beautiful. And what, I can blend them with water? So yeah, well, uh, let me rephrase that. I am a fan of marker art, but personally, myself, I don't tend to do a lot of marker art projects. Um, I do paint, I do print making, uh, markers, if anything I use, I might use the micron pens because I do illustration stuff. So, not markers, but now with these Tombow markers, I actually love that they blend out like watercolor, so I'm anxious to try something with um, the water on watercolor paper, but also I want to get some more colors before I go full on Tombow um, watercolor <laughs> art design and stuff. So of course, so like it inspired me to get more markers. It's funny. The paint effects pen is great because um, I can use that on my resin. Uh, the general pencils, I have a notebook of gray toned paper. <laughs> Um, sketchbook and so I'm anxious to try those in that sketchbook it's for dry media and on the tone paper I think it would show up quite well and so I'm going to be trying some of that out as well um, but the challenge was this little sketchbook a little doodle 
and that's just what I did for the June art box. Um, and you may actually, I may subscribe to one more subscription box. Um, oh, there are so many different subscription boxes out there, it's kind of crazy. But um, I may look into Palletful um, subscription box. And um, because I like the idea that the subscription box is coming with a service to actually create the artwork on. And then the products that they're sending are really, really great. And I am still continuing my art snacks because I do love these little boxes. And um, they, from the art snacks boxes that are previous, they do introduce a lot of different product. And so I look forward to seeing what those products are and continuing with the, um, the art snacks. And I will continue to do unboxing. I do like this. It takes me a while to get the video edited and posted, but um, I will continue with doing this. And I do speed it up because, like I said, 45 minute video. I think I said I, I recorded. If there were outtakes and bloopers of the things that I record on this thing. But um, anyway, so I hope you enjoy. Um, please see the links below in the box. Subscribe to my channel. Always feel free to leave questions, comments. I work on all types of media um, and I'm gonna try to get a variety of different videos on here that are, whether it's painting or printmaking or um, clay work, polymer clay, just anything that I do, watercolor videos, um, feel free, like, ask me a question. Um, if I don't have an answer, I'll find one for you because I'm very resourceful. <laughs> and um, yeah, just otherwise, enjoy the videos. Please subscribe. Visit me on my other links. And um, keep creating because the world needs the beautiful things that we create. Thank you for watching.